Back in the Renaissance, still life paintings were ranked lowest in the hierarchy of subject matters. It may not be the same now though, but here with Pinoy art, still life has always ranked high, especially floral art, because along with fruits, it's the cheapest way to learn how to paint as we are blessed with so many kinds of plants and flowers. No models to pay. It can just go take a walk and easily stumble on them. And this is how veteran painter Joselito Jimenez has been doing with his watercolor works on wildflowers. Jimenez may have given his cosmos work a literal title, Misty Red, as the flower is red and the weather is misty, but he also transports us to our own experiences of walking in a cool morning in Baguio or Tagaytay, where things feel, smell, and are fresh. Flowers are beautiful on their own, and none can ever steal their thunder. Not a tabletop with crafted ornaments, even if the flowers are missing a petal or two none can steal their thunder. That's why our focus is on the flowers. Some might not even notice the lace and the table. Zinnias symbolize everlasting love, remembrance, and tribute. I wonder if the artist had anybody in mind while painting this. Daisies easily come in twos to form one lasting bloom. To see a solitary one on the ground gives a foreboding understanding that someone has lost a partner. The ground is wet by the tears shed for the hands one will never hold again. The artist calls his work forgotten promise in sad allusion to the impossible promise to be together forever. As we, like flowers that are here today and gone tomorrow, we also have to give up the ghost. We see fences that forbid our entry, but nothing can stop us from taking in the healing effect of Mother Nature as she frames our view with leaves and bushes accented by yellow florals. Speaking of healing effect, a butterfly pea is known to help with depression when taken as tea. Perhaps you don't even have to drink it to enjoy its benefits. Looking at a beautiful basket of blue butterfly peas can help shake off the blues. White pink flowers, especially wildflowers, whose name only botanists would know by heart. What is the point of painting them when we see them all around us every day? What beauty is there to see when they are usually in a muddy puddle with weeds growing alongside them? And that's just it. Artists frame wildflowers that we usually drive past or tread upon, ironically, on our nature walks. We take them for granted. It takes artists like Jojo Jimenez to make us stop and but appreciate the wonder that they are. After all, the ultimate painter described them as very good when he created them on the third day. And last I checked, he hasn't taken back his compliment. For more of Jimenez's beautiful works, follow him on his Facebook page. By the way, hope you noticed that we went through the Roy G. Bead color spectrum while looking at some of his wonderful works. Let us all stop and smell the flowers, both in art and real life. That is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.